what's going on you guys quick update leather video for y'all so we just got an announcement that night transportation is doing another pay raise so this is for all current drivers that are on the true pay scale and it is two cents per mile addition to what you're making now so if you're at 48 a mile you're at 50 now which it's not bad two cents a mile and it's their second one in the in less than six months so that shows a lot to a company i don't know you know there might be more companies out there that do that but for what i know they've given so many raises within the last five years and you can't beat that for a mega carrier whatever you want to call it transportation company you cannot beat that at all so you know if you want to come over it's a great time to come over and we need experienced drivers we need student drivers drivers that just got their cdl we need you and there's so much freight out there it's it's ridiculous you will make money if you don't make money here then it's either you're the issue or it could be a dispatcher not giving you the miles but if you want to run you will make money you know i average 2500 miles a week minimum while i'm out here on the road and you just can't ask for a better company like that than that they got an awesome 401k match i'm in that right now they got vision which i'm also in they got dental and health insurance I don't have the dental, but I do have the health insurance. And I got to say, it is one of the better health insurance. It is a little higher in the, in the deductible, but it covers so much stuff that you will be surprised. You know, I just had my surgery about a month ago. And, you know, I paid $2,500 out of pocket. And then they're going to cover 75% of it. You can't beat that. With that being said, for all you student drivers that need experience, you don't have experience yet. You need to go on with a trainer. And you're like, where should I go? How much are they going to pay you? So for all trainees, this is a big, 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 big pay increase. When I first started back in 2015, as a trainee, I was making $400 a week. That was it. Now, you're making $800 a week. So, that's a big step up. Because they, they, they realize that you can't live on $400 a week. You can't really even live on $500 a week. You know, you got bills, you got expenses... The cost of food, it is getting more expensive out here if you eat on the road. Um, so they realize, they understand that you need some more money. So $800 a week, that is fantastic. You can't go wrong with that. And you figure after taxes, let's say, you know, 100 150 depending on your, your deduction rate, for your state, you know, you're looking at what seven, seven, seven hundred to six fifty a week, which is still doable, especially if you budget your food cost. Your trainer has a fridge on the truck. You guys cook on the truck. Um, you cooking on the truck will save a lot of money, and that will help tremendously. Also. A pay increase starting for drivers that are coming over at 44 cents a mile. 
that's a big plus. You know, you can't live on 40 cents a mile, especially in today's market, in today's economy. Everything's going up. Prices are going up. Uh, cost of living is going up. So they are understanding that you got to have a little better pay increase. For you need for your experienced drivers, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. Always negotiate the pay per mile. If you think you got a clean record, you got 10 years of driving, no accidents, no no reports, a clean CSA, um, no out of service failed inspections. I mean, you're spotless. Make an offer, 50 cents a mile, 55. Not saying they're gonna guarantee that, but work your way down. Go high, work your way down. If you say 50 and they say, no, we can't, but we could do 47 or 48, there you go, you can't beat that. And um, let me tell you, for as much time off as I take, and a lot of people on my channel that know me and talk to me on a regular basis knows I take a lot of time off and I still make good money. I still make enough money to pay my bills, uh, have some money on the spare to you know ride my motorcycle and go take vacations. That's what it, you wanna do when you're out here. You wanna make money, save money and spend money. So with all that, you just can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Also, if you want to go casual, you can go casual. You can go out five times out of the month. You can go out one day out of the month. You can do, so like for me, as of next month, I am going two weeks on, two weeks off. By that means I work 14 days on, 14 days off because I am more focusing on my health, taking care of my, um, just my own condition pers and whatnot. You know, I've gained quite a bit of weight out here. So me taking time off like that, I'm hopefully gonna lose some weight, feel better, drop down and, you know, be able to keep on trucking. You don't want to be out here in your first 10 years and gain 50, 100 pounds. You don't want to do that. You will demolish your driving career tremendously. So you want to eat healthy. You want to stay fit, stay active. Even if that means getting out of the truck, doing step walks like uh, on your step, up and down, up and down, doing a hundred of those, walking up and down your uh, side of your truck and trailer, doing some push-ups, some jumping jacks, uh, jump rope, you know, stuff like that to keep your heart rate going and to keep in shape, some push-ups, sit-ups, whatever it is. There's so many ways to stay active and fit, which I'm gonna make a video on that here in the next month or so on how to stay fit and how to lose weight well on the road and also when you're off the road too. So hope you all like this video. I got to go get a massage, much needed massage and well-deserved one as well because ran a lot of miles, worked a lot of hours and definitely need a massage. So if you want to come on over, link down below will be a link to apply, put a quick application in, and then also email me in the link down below so I can keep track of who's coming and going. I can call my recruiter and they can get a hold of you so you don't have to wait two to five weeks it's a big longer wait process right now because a lot of the recruiters are working from home and they're not technically at the office or they might be back and forth. 
So definitely email me with your name, your phone number, and then I can get a hold of you. And then we can get a hold of the recruiter so we can get you on and over. So with that being said, y'all be safe. Take it easy out there. Winter's almost over with. It's almost spring and summertime. So y'all be safe.